Let's fix Bluetooth if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to connect to another Bluetooth device, maybe it's headphones, another speaker, something like that, I'm gonna show you different steps to get that working and connected on your iPhone. So the first and easiest thing we'll do is we'll just swipe down from the top right. You can see Bluetooth symbol here right to the right of that Wi-Fi symbol. If it looks kind of white like this, that means it is disabled and you just want to tap on it to make sure it looks blue. If it is blue, that's an indication that your Bluetooth is turned on and will allow you to connect to another device. Now, we'll also check, we'll go into settings here and then you can see Bluetooth right under Wi-Fi here. I will tap on that. And what you want to do is toggle off Bluetooth here and then toggle it back on. And what this does is you can see next to other devices has that little spinning wheel. It will reconnect or try to reconnect to any Bluetooth devices. It will look around to see if there are any eligible devices nearby. Now, another thing you can do is if it's a device that you previously connected, you can see them under my devices. On here, you can always just tap that little I and then just hit forget this device. So for that UE Mega Boom, if I wanted to delete it from my iPhone and then reconnect, I can always hit forget that device and then manually reconnect to it again. Now, after going through all of these steps, keep in mind a lot of times the Bluetooth device itself, whether it's headphones, a speaker, whatever it may be, has the potential to connect, but you have to turn on or press a button to make it discoverable. For instance, this UE Mega Boom, I have to tap a little button for it to turn on so it's discoverable to any new devices. So maybe read the manual for that other device to see how you make it discoverable to connect to new Bluetooth devices. Now, the next thing that you can do is go back here and we'll tap on General. And then at the very bottom, you can see shut down. So you can just tap on shut down to turn off your phone and then restart it so that basically you can try to reconnect to Bluetooth and have that working again. Now, the last thing that we'll do is hit transfer or reset iPhone. And then we're gonna hit reset here and then reset network settings, the second option there. A lot of times we'll remove all of those Bluetooth connections and it helped that you reset all of those Bluetooth settings and you can connect to any of those Bluetooth devices afterwards and that usually helps with any kind of bugs. Hope this helps. Do you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.